Let's try the same or similar prompts across several different AI video generation models and platforms. We're going to look at Kling, Runway, Minimax, Hilu, whichever you want to call it, as well as Luma, maybe a couple from Pika and Pixverse. But if you're looking for generations from Sora or Veo, this ain't the video for it. I don't have access to Veo yet, as most people don't. And when it comes to Sora, my understanding is you've got to pony up that 200 bucks a month to be able to do image to video that involves people, and I'm just not into all that. Now that we got that out of the way, let's look at some video generations. The idea for this first one is I wanted to have this guy walking down the sidewalk, the car is coming up the road beside him, goes through this puddle, splashes him, and he reacts. Kling has the guy walking down the sidewalk, the car approaching, and just a little wave and the guy looks at the car somewhat indignant and that's sort of that. I gave it another shot with a longer, more detailed prompt and now the car does create a splash. The guy seems to notice the splash before it could reach him and I don't know, maybe it touched his back a little bit, but not exactly what it was going for. I worked on that prompt a little bit more and this is what I got. The splash appears to completely miss him in this one, pretty lucky. Using the shorter version of the prompt with Runway ML Gen 2, we get this. There's something a little weird going on with his jacket in the beginning. Then the car sort of instinctively avoids this bubble up from the puddle before it even looks like it's going to happen. And our guy avoids the splash again. Still in Runway ML, same prompt with Gen 3 Alpha Turbo. This time the water starts coming out of our guy's sleeves. And I imagine that would be upsetting. Here's what Luma produced, and I can't tell you about the settings that I used or the prompt because to me, Luma is just weird. I think I created this outside of a board in Luma, and I can't figure out how to access any of the image generation details for it. But it's not like I'd want to use those settings again because this video is just awful. For the same short prompt using Lightrix LTX on Replicate, we got this interesting interpretation. Pixverse made me think I must be missing something in this story because the guy's walking along, the car splashes, it doesn't appear to even touch him, but then the guy turns and he is walking back toward the car that's already passed with a purpose and he's even got a friend, like they're on a mission to go solve a problem. I gave Lytrix LTX uh, another shot at this with a longer prompt and that definitely did not help. Instead of the car going through the puddle and splashing the guy, there's some huge eruption here, taking out the car and making the guy kind of morph into the water. Hilu tried to get clever here. They decided to have the guy just walk away and avoid the splash altogether as some other car decides to drive on the sidewalk. I really feel like it was mocking me. But then Hilu gave me the funniest awful video I've seen in a long time. I don't even have words to describe this. I just think our guy probably needs to get somewhere to an exorcist or something. This one drove me nuts. I thought I was asking for something really simple. I'm gonna take this image of a average looking house and have it hyperlapse through the seasons. Leaves would grow on the trees, the grass would get a darker, richer green, then it would go to fall, the leaves would turn brown and fall off, we'd have some snow, and then we'd return back here to the reset. I even got AI to help me write this big fancy prompt to make sure I was covering everything. Kling 1.6 gave me this, which is just a little bit of camera movement and then boom transition to a different house snow and fall leaves tweak that prompt a little bit now the camera backs up and rises and that's it no seasons change i thought maybe i'm asking too much maybe four seasons i'm trying to cram too much into five seconds so i thought let me try a shorter prompt give the ai some more flexibility to do what it needs to do and let's just ask it to go from like this late winter early spring into full-on spring where we get some leaves on the trees it does its subtle camera movement again and then it just switches the scene to somewhere else where we have this strange green grass and fall leaves. All right, maybe I should tell it I don't want the camera to move. It took my original scene, did a transition or a cut that I didn't want, giving me a different perspective on the house that's not fixed camera, and it put some fall colored leaves on some of the trees. Not what I'm looking for. All right, Kling, we'll let you have full creative control here. I'll just tell you hyperlapse of seasons changing and you do what you do. And what does it do? A little subtle camera movement there. And we're just gonna change the scene, different perspective, and we'll have a couple of trees have leaves on them. So we take our original AI generated prompt, go over to High Loot, and it just sits still on the original image and then does some weird transition, giving us some leaves on these two trees that are changing colors in completely unnatural ways. Switch up that prompt a little bit, see if we can trigger whatever it needs to get what we're looking for. We sit on our first frame image for a bit, then it gives us a slide transition to just some completely other place. Hey, look at this instead. High Loot, the shorter prompt pans to the right reveals this little pocket of spring between our house that's late winter early spring and the what looks like snowy winter trees behind this new scene giving Hilu the really short prompt to let it be creative it fades our opening frame to black and then reopens on a garden somewhere 
trying to simplify things, I said, okay, let's call this winter and turn it into spring. That produced a bizarre blue aura around the one tree in the front before it turns into strangely green leaves and this patch of green grass. Runways Gen 3 Alpha just did a pullback, didn't really change anything. Giving it the super short prompt of hyperlapse of seasons change, it just panned to the left. With one of the more detailed prompts, it pans to the left and puts some yellow leaves on one tree. So let's try to tell it fixed camera so it'll stop moving. It completely ignores that and does a left radius. How about a different but long and detailed prompt with Gen 3 Alpha? Oh well, no, we'll just pull back and we'll reveal a tree that has something on it. Over in Luma Dream Machine, this is the prompt that it looks like it's telling me I used. When you use a board and you can find your generation information, it's a little bit confusing to me. But it just panned to the right anyway. It looks like I just re-rolled that one, and instead of panning right, it just zooms in. Again, no seasons changing. Pixverse 3.5 Turbo didn't want to show me seasons changing. Instead, it thought I really needed to look at this other little building to the right. With Lytrix, I tried the shorter version of the prompt, just trying to get it to go from winter to spring. And the video it produced is my starting frame image sitting there for four seconds. Hyper Video 2, just trying to get this to go from winter to spring. It gives us a little cloud movement, a quick wonky change in the resolution of the whole image, and then we zoom in super fast on this weird bush that seems to just appear in front of the steps. I've seen these AI video generators do pretty well with time lapses, so I didn't think I was asking for too much. Apparently I am. One of the things I guess I should have done is started off just trying to change from one season to the next and not asking it to do all four seasons in one video. But my attempts to do that didn't go so well either. Maybe there was just too much with all the different trees, the grass, the bushes, whatnot. I don't know. If you got any tips or tricks on that, please share. Next up, I wanted to get my lovable monsters in on the action. My monsters come from an image generation model that I trained in OpenArt. It's called Lovable Monster, and I made that public, so if you want to go generate images of my furry little friends here, help yourself. I kept this prompt simple, a lovable monster playing basketball. Hilu's 12v01 does kind of okay with my monster, but the basketball is just out of control. I tried it with Hilu's 12v01 Live, which is meant for like 2D characters and animation. My monster's watching one basketball while magically throwing another basketball from his other hand, and his game is interrupted because the ball's just hovering in the air and won't come back. With Kling version 1.6, again, the monster looks good, but the basketball seems pretty sticky. So I switched to Kling's 1.5 model because that'll let you use motion brush. So I marked the basketball as area one and then drew this track that I wanted it to go up through the hoop and then bounce off to the corner of the screen and it sort of did that. It morphed through the net kind of weird and it continued to do some morphing and some sliding and just not acting like a basketball should. Now, I might be able to make that better if I went back and worked with that motion brush a little bit more. Might need to make my line through the net a little straighter to the ground, maybe go a little lower and have my squiggles closer together. Runway gets the basketball stuck on the hoop and then the monster stuck on the basketball, but he breaks it loose. Gen 3 Alpha Turbo introduces an extra ball into the mix. He seems to be juggling. One melts off into the house and one melts into his hand. Pixverse wasn't so hot at getting the ball through the hoop. It just sort of melts and then he collects the ball back. But then the monster's just looking at the ball, probably trying to figure out how it melted the hoop. Lytrix LTX video, instead of putting the basketball through the hoop, it just sort of abandons the first frame, leaves the basketball hanging, and turns into this mess. Hyper Video 2 morphs the ball through the hoop and then bounces the monster off the backboard, turning him into a ball and back into a monster. So far, these have all been image to video. Each one of those, the first frame of the video has been derived from the image that I uploaded and said start with this. I also wanted to try text to video and for that I came up with the idea of granny riding a really big dog around the backyard. I don't know what's wrong with me. I used a pretty detailed prompt with Hi Lou and I think it got it. And in case you're wondering why I put the word slender in here, a cheerful slender elderly woman, it's not that I got anything against husky grandmas. I just didn't want to hurt my AI dog. That's why I specified that the dog is enormous, the dog's happy, the lady's happy, she's slender, they're all having a good time. I tried a shorter prompt in Hi Lou and I thought we had the queen there for a second. And of course that's not the case, but this one just didn't come out as good as the one with the more detailed prompt. Just doesn't make sense here where Granny's legs are. Here's a generation from Kling 1.6 with the long prompt. It works and there isn't any terrible morphing jumping out at me. I'm just not crazy about the lighting and overexposure of this one. This is what Kling 1.6 produced with the shorter prompt. The doggo gets a little long there in a few frames and I don't really like the proportion of granny size to the dog size in this one. Runway Gen 3 Alpha starts off looking like Granny's growing out of the dog, which is not a St. Bernard, and then the camera turns and we see that she's just beside the dog. 
With the shorter prompt and runway Gen 3 Alpha, we actually have Granny riding the dog. They've even got a saddle worked out. But looking at the dog's tail, and don't look under his tail, I don't know what is going on there. But looking at his mane and tail, there's a lot of horse-like qualities. Makes sense, because I doubt there's a lot of real video out there for these things to train on, where a person is riding an enormous oversized dog. Moki, run on Genmo, gives us this adorable scene of Grandma loving on the doggo and not doing anything we asked for. This is the long version of the prompt in Moki on Genmo. Grandma and this big old dog seem to be having a great time, even though it didn't do what it was prompted for. And instead, it's more like Grandma's trying to catch up with this fella. It does capture the mood that both her and the pup are having a great time. Luma produced this from the detailed prompt. The only movement out of the dog is tail wagging, and it looks more like a strange stuffed animatronic. And then Luma with a short prompt gave us Grandma riding a hover dog. The detailed prompt in Lytrix LTX gave me the worst video of the day until I tried the short version of the prompt in Lytrix LTX, which got this creepy thing. Using the detailed prompt in Tencent gets us a granny who apparently has some professional bull riding experience. And the short prompt in Tencent gave us a different perspective and a different kind of dog than I think we've seen in any of the other video attempts. My goal with this has been to show you what model I used, what I put in, and what I got out. And I'm not saying anything I did was the best or the only way, certainly not the case. I don't know about you, but I really like to see examples from all different video models of what they created and what prompt or starting image was used to get there. It helps get my creativity going and gives me some ideas of things I want to try or models I want to try or things that I can move down to the bottom of the list for now. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you found this helpful or at least entertaining and you'll come back and see me in another video.